YouTube, Diesel Dan Peters here. So, uh, back to the night shift grind for a little bit. Um, my fiance's father was very generous and uh, gave me his uh, workbench. So, we finally have a real workbench to deal with. He even put a nice new coating underneath this as a nice new uh, uh, board just to give, some, give me some extra uh, support for whatever projects I'm doing and a nice new top this is this is ideal this is what I've been needing in here um, for sure so I'm thinking of putting that desk it's gonna end up going like right over there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide this over but before I even think of that I'm gonna continue putting this stuff together uh, we got more packages than just these two but the rest are currently inside and I don't want to have to go back inside right now. So my goal for tonight is honestly just to continue on the quad because once that is complete, most of this will be organized and I'll be able to, you know, pull the desk out and uh, we'll go from there. And I'm thinking, if you notice how the middle here, uh, there is some room for stuff, but I'm thinking of going more out with this so I might even create extra support and just pull it out we'll see for now this is perfect um, couldn't have asked for anything more honestly um, so I'm definitely very grateful for that uh, but let's continue I'm using the GoPro right now I don't, even, I don't even know if I said that uh, the DSLR camera is away at the current moment uh, it's just easier for me to uh, record uh, more vloggy kind of stuff with this. Let me even go over here. I'm going to turn on these lights. Oh boy. we got the pit bike leaking a little bit of oil. I wonder where it's leaking oil out of. Kind of looks like it's free right from that side case. Is this right from over here? Yeah, where is it leaking oil from? Hmm. Unless... Did I leave? No, I didn't leave the fuel on. Hmm. I wonder where it's leaking oil from. I'm gonna have to look into that. Okay, next. next in the line of things to do. And uh, I figured I'd tell y'all, uh, I did end up getting a wrap for the quad. So I think that's gonna look killer. Um, because I'm going for more of a do-it-yourself kind of channel, uh, I'm going to end up doing it myself, and I'm going to show you guys how I do it. And luckily, because we have this desk now, it'll be way easier to do that kind of stuff. But I know you guys don't want to hear me blabber on forever. Um, let's get right down to work. Uh, it's going to be a little tough to work in here right now, because it is very crowded. i got garbage everywhere. Literally, we got a garbage pail filled with garbage right now. Um, and we can't even organize in here until we get some stuff fixed, sold, and gone. And uh, that's it. Let's just get cracking. Let's start putting stuff together. Hopefully, my goal by, let's say, two days from now. Um, I believe it's March 16th. Or, yeah, I believe it's the 16th today. Uh, today's March 16th. Let's have that completed. Uh, minus the plastics and like fluids by let's say by Tuesday and today is currently it's well it's Sunday now uh, Saturday into Sunday night so let's do that I'm gonna get the GoPro battery charging my extra battery that I have and let's just crack down let's get stuff done All right YouTube Diesel Dan Peters signing out for now
Hey YouTube. Oh, I hope I'm st uh, it's still going. Okay. <laughs> Man, it has been a very busy night. Uh, we got a lot done. Uh, close this up. I'm trying to keep the dust out of the containers now. There we go. So, what did we accomplish tonight? I think a definitely a decent amount. Uh, we reorganized the whole shop. Uh, as I said earlier on my GoPro, we have a new workbench to work with. Uh, this opens up a lot. Of, uh, a lot. So all the times I've been working on these engines and it's pretty much been on the floor so parts have been all over the place. You know, I got parts for some Yanmar L70s up here. Um, that can end now. I'm able to uh, make sure. Yep, there we go. I actually have room to work with now, so pardon me if I keep rubbing my nose, my allergies are already starting to act up, even though it's only 30 degrees outside. Um, so the whole whole area is getting rearranged. Uh, once this quad is done, it's going right up for sale. I also have some good news. The diesel generator, the red one that I fixed all up, made look really nice, is finally, it's been a about a week or week or week and a half now, I want to say, almost. Um, it's actually holding. Um, what do you call it? Uh, the Rust-Oleum. Oh man, this is killing me right now. The uh, the ATF that I had put in there. It's finally holding that, but it's also holding the Rust-Oleum. It's like the rust remover. This the, I, I got to make a whole video on it because. Uh, the stuff is working great. Uh, I was actually really surprised, and but really happy that it's working great. Um, what else? I'm trying to think, nothing's really happening up there anymore. I've had a very long day. I've been up since 11 a.m. yesterday, so I've been up for definitely a few hours. Let's take a look at what we've done to the. Polaris Sportsman 500 that is almost fully converted now. So we just finished getting all the linkages hooked up. See? Might have to play around with these a little bit. So like right now. Mm. Yeah, we're going to have to play around with these a little more. Oh, there we go. I'm pretty sure this just needs some nice lube. So do all the connections, too. In fact, while I have you guys here... I want to see how this works so we can come back tomorrow and see how well it works. So Seafoam created this uh, deep creep stuff and uh, from what I've heard it's pretty pretty good. Let me grab the, the red tube here. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. This takes skill. Get on my level. Son of a... <laughs> Alright, let me put you guys down for a minute. Just don't fall over. I will probably cry if that camera fell over. There we go. Okay. Put you guys back over here.
that's that feels pretty pretty good even give this and we'll spray these each one more time just a little dab will do ya So we got a neutral. So the engine is all bolted up, starters hooked up. Um, I even have the pull start hooked up as well. Um, this engine's got definitely a decent amount of compression. I don't know if you can tell from me just pulling it a few times. Uh, we also installed the new intake boot. Hope this video is not too bad for you guys. So we got the new intake boot. Um, what else did we do? Oh, before I leave, I'm going to grease just this one down here. I have to put the new grease fitting on. Then I'm going to grease that. And uh, I think the main part of this swap is coming to a close. Uh, we, Like I said, I got we definitely got a lot done tonight. I keep saying we because, you know, if, if I didn't have... A group of viewers to watch this stuff uh, I probably I don't know I don't know if I would really be doing it I like doing this this kind of stuff you know as long as uh, people are watching even if I only get one view I'm happy with that but I know that to put these bumpers they're not gonna stay chrome they're definitely gonna be rhino lined I want that want it to look really pretty tough and I also did get the wrap I'm pretty sure I told you guys, but just in case I forgot to, I did get that. Oh, we got that. Got all this stuff a while ago, actually. Some more stuff. Uh, I gotta find the caps to the two Loctite bottles I have. Really hope I didn't lose them, but I will find them, and... That will be the last thing I do tonight after I grease that one fitting before I forget to. Definitely do not want to forget to do that. But yeah, we're pretty much down to finishing the wiring. Fluids. Obviously the grease fitting, but that'll get done tonight. So, um, Then paint. Vinyl wrap. Check the bulbs. Make sure all the light bulbs work. And finish, I guess, putting this, the uh, handlebar on, and that's about it. Fluids is going to be a lot. Uh, that's probably when I'm going to uh, remove the tires once again. Uh, and just leave it on jack stands. And I'll be able to paint the tires, let them dry. And I'll also be able to do like the brake fluid. Uh, they have special fluid in each of the front diff, uh, four wheel drive. Uh, I don't. I actually got to look up the fluid because I don't. I personally don't even know. I've never actually had to deal with that. Um, also, this boot is cracked, so I might take the one off the Polaris if it is still in good condition. I know when I sold it, it I had sold it with a brand new one. I mean that one looks pretty decent. I mean, I don't think it'll be a big deal, but I'd prefer to, uh, when I sell it, I want everything to be perfect on this thing. No, I keep picking up stuff. It's just everywhere. Oh, look, see, even more up here. Everywhere. Just got stuff, but it's okay. We're getting there. We're cleaning up. It's probably going to be a few more days of me cleaning up, but that's okay. Like I said getting stuff done that's the main thing uh, and I would eventually like to make room for more projects too different projects though not the same ones I like doing stuff that I don't really see people doing on YouTube and I've never actually seen a video of a full 500 conversion I think there's one but it's not super clear or anything like that so this is like a full video for everyone who has no idea how to do this kind of stuff. 
I also don't know if I'm going to be able to keep the oil cooler or not, but if I can, that'd be great. Just one last thing I have to uh, modify. Uh, if I'm able to keep it, I'm going to uh, probably just bump the right uh, radiator like up to here, which I also did get the front bumper, which has to get right in aligned as well. Uh, and then mount that. So I'm going to grease that fitting. I don't want to hold you guys any longer. I know that this video is going to be pretty long. Um, but it's just something that had to get done. We had to clean up in here. That's just part of the shop life, I guess you can say. Um, yeah, that's going to be a wrap for today. Uh, I'll try to give a more detailed description tomorrow. But like, everything is organized in here now, including all my uh, chargers. My tools are all organized. Or organized for me to know where everything is. If someone who didn't know came in here, they'd probably be like, what is this? But yeah, everything. I tried to make sure everything was organized. Organized the best I can, at least. Yep. So that, even up here, all my hammers. And I ended up I'm starting to use this now, too, as well. So, yep. Alright, let's, let's wrap up this video. This is getting a little too long. Alright, YouTube.